Ooh, this looks better than I thought. I might have to return this camera. What's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the page. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the TV show, Squint TV. Now, this video is way overdue. I should have done this last week. Sorry. I'm really, really sorry to have you guys waiting. But, yo, it just look an update on what I've been doing. But first and foremost, how was your New Year's? Happy New Year's, to be exact. Hope everybody's doing good. Up on the IRA, everything fresh and nice. It's a brand new year. You get a brand new start. Now, as you see right here, I'm looking at the, the screen right now. This is the iPhone X, 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 the XS Plus. Yeah, and it is amazing. And the reason why I said why I have to get a, I might have to return this camera, well, that's the update. I actually got a brand new camera, the Canon M5. I actually got a brand new camera, the Canon X5. And yo, I'm excited to open this bad boy right here and get you guys, you know, a little small unboxing. I also got, bam, a lens right here. They said this lens would be pretty good. So I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a try. Only thing is now, looking at this camera, the nice, beautiful iPhone camera. Do you really need to get a camera? Or do you even need a GoPro? I've been using a GoPro for a while now. For my first, I want to say four or five videos, it was the GoPro I was using until the GoPro died. And then I started using my iPhone uh, 7 Plus. After using that, I was like, yo, the quality is way better. You can hear me better. You can see all the little details a lot better. So did I really need that GoPro? Only thing is with the GoPro is... It's great underwater, it's great for an easy take out pocket and record, but the quality wasn't there unless you was in broad daylight. Like right now I have my two windows open and I have my light on. So hopefully you guys can see me perfectly. This is the GoPro, but let's switch back to the iPhone. Now for vloggers who are just, not even vloggers, but if you're just a content creator and you're just sitting down talking like I am right now, you don't actually need a camera. I'll say if you're just starting out, like how I am, start with your phone. Get a, a tripod like I have right now. Let me show you guys. It's GoPro. This is the setup right now. Recording myself. Mm. Like I said, small, compact, easy to go, and ready to go. But enough about me rambling. I know you guys want to see what's in the box. Well, you're <clears throat> enough about me rambling on and on. I know you guys want to see the camera. So let's get into this unboxing. As you see from the unboxing, the camera isn't that big. It holds in the palm of my hand and it's pretty compact, but powerful. Now, the one thing that got me with this camera over the Sony is shabam, this right here. When you're vlogging, you can see yourself and that's a vlogger's dream. Every camera that, that they have, when you're holding the camera like this, you wanna be able to see yourself, make sure it's in focus, make sure all that. This camera records in 1080p and it also has 4k 
the only thing with the 4k is that you cannot record for too long i think it's about 10 minutes of 4k and that's really all all you need for me i'm using the 4k for when i do like on feet shots or if i'm just doing b-rolls of certain places that i've been to hotels or just going away on trips the 1080p is fine for me that's why i say you could use your phone you could use a, a canon g a canon g37 the uh, point and shoot that's all The Canon G37 is a, is a great camera for beginners too. I just got this because the first time I seen it, I was like, hey, it looks cool. It records this, it does this, why not get it? And I didn't want the big, big cameras just because I don't wanna be, I'm not that confident in myself that I'm gonna be walking around with a big camera like, yo, what go on YouTube, everything good, everything I right, well, come back to another episode. That's just not me. I can't be like that and have the big camera. So the smaller one's gonna help build my confidence and then when I have that confidence within me, then I'll get a bigger camera and go out in the world and talk all my gibberish. In 2019, I just want to give you guys better content, better videos, and just more entertainment. It's not really about, oh, I just need this much followers. Like, yeah, it's about that too. But honestly, I want to entertain everyone that's subscribed to me and everyone that's following me, whether that's on YouTube or on Instagram. And I think with this camera, I could develop a lot more better in my craft which is just entertainment i won't go too in depth with these camera or the lens i actually want to try them out before i talk about it as in i'm gonna use it for the next couple of weeks for matter of fact i'm gonna start using it as soon as possible and uh, after a month i'll be giving you guys a real a review on the m50 and on these two lens that i have that way after feeling it out and testing it out i can give you a better review maybe you, you end up buying it maybe you won't but i think that's a better way to review i think after a month of using this camera it'll be a way better experience for tell you guys hey i like it i don't like it and that's gonna be my takedown on on the review so look out for that next month in other news love manas and respect love you guys have, have a happy new year and remember subscribe like and share all right I'm out.